So how do you fix a negative cancel tilt? Well, I want to ask you this question. Does it actually matter? Okay, now hear me out. Before I teach you how to fix it, I just want to give you guys a quick little story, a quick little bit of background on me. I've been getting heaps of comments saying that, oh, it's over, bro. You have a negative cancel tilt, bro. It doesn't matter anymore. You're not going to attract any beautiful girls, bro. This is the stupidest thing I've ever had in my life. And bear in mind, I've got skin in the game when it comes to dating beautiful girls. When they would ask me, oh, what do you do for a living? And then I'll say, oh, you know, I create content. I make videos online, you know, OnlyFans. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, what I do is, you know, I teach guys how to apply this thing called a female gaze. It's actually a really interesting topic and conversation to have because it's like how many guys are teaching other guys how to glow up, right? That's, that's a very unique thing, stands out on the date, right? So it's very interesting conversations come out of this, but pretty much I would, also, I would always ask them, what do you think about the angle of a guy's eyes? And they'll look at me like, what do you mean? And I'll tell them like, what if it's angled slightly down? Does that matter? And they're like, I didn't even know, I've never noticed that before. I'm like, okay, well, what if it's angled slightly up? You know, like a, a positive cantle tilt. And they're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like girls don't pay attention to this stuff. The only people that pay attention to like the freaking tilt of your eyes, of your, your cantle tilt, whatever, the only people that even know what that is, is black pillars who are just so insecure about their looks that they're just over analyzing every single like micro expression, every slight angle of every single bone in the face. Bro, the, the more you over analyze these things, the more stressed out you're gonna get, the more insecure you're gonna get because these are things that you can't really control. You can't really control the angle of your eyes. Maybe you can get surgery, but that's out of your control. You're paying a surgeon to freaking change and alter your face shape. You could say, oh, you can do thumb pulling or mewing. Dude, that's gonna take so many years. Like the results are gonna be so slow. You're probably gonna give up before then. So when I ask girls, does it matter that my eyes are negative canceled tilt? Like all these comments are saying, dude, they laugh and they say it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in their life. And you might say I'm making this up, but I promise you, I am not. I've had genuine conversations on real dates asking girls, what do they think about it? Because I want to hear it from the girl's point of view. And they think it's the stupidest thing ever. It's just like guys curling their eyelashes so that they have, I don't know, their eyes pop out more. Like girls are revolted by that. They don't, girls are not trying to date other girls. They want to date men. Okay. And this, this ties back into this whole thing. Like so many guys think when they apply the female gaze that they're supposed to become effeminate and feminine men. That's not the case. The whole point of applying the female gaze is so you become youthful, more exuberant, more vibrant, more full of life. Instead of applying the red pill, the male gaze, which makes you look like a 40 year old freaking man who could be old enough to be her father. Okay. That's why the red pill is the biggest scam ever. Okay. It doesn't work. It's a bunch of BS. Okay. But anyway, back to the topic, the angle of your eyes. Okay. Stop trying to stop focusing on this tiny minute detail that does not even matter. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. It does not matter. Instead, guys, if this is your first time on my channel, I want you to focus on these three things. And people always brush this off because it's too easy. They don't want the easy fix. A lot of you guys don't want the easy fix because it makes you feel stupid because it was that easy to sort out your problem in the first place. But I'm not going to BS and beat around the bush. I'll tell you guys, if you want to drastically improve your looks, there are three basic fundamental pillars of the female gaze that I teach other young guys on this channel. And that is number one, your hairstyle. What you can control your hairstyle if you have hair, okay? Get a hairstyle that suits your face shape. I've made a face shape guide on my channel. Just search it up. It covers all the main face shapes and what type of haircuts you should strive to get. Now, right now, I'm growing out my hair for a perm. Mid part looks okay for my face shape, but ideally, I want a perm and a messy sort of textured fringe. That's what I'm going to go for. So, there's the hairstyle. And in relation to hairstyle, your beard, bro, like... It's better to be clean shaven or have a bit of stubble. That's usually and generally about it. So, bro, it might be time to shave the beard. It might be time to get rid of that peach fuzz, man. And then we move on to the next pillar. That's your physique, the V taper, okay? Don't chase the X taper. For the most part, it's usually the V taper. If you don't know what X taper is, the big bodybuilder com competitors and stuff want to have these huge freaking legs and stuff, which makes your body have this V sort of look to it. At the end of the day, girls are more attracted to like a surfer physique with the well-developed lats and shoulders and lean and all that sort of stuff, right? So that's essentially the physique, guys. And then it also comes down to your fashion, okay? I like the old money. I will promote the old money sort of look like, you know, like these polos and stuff, the 
business casual sort of look, that looks good. Okay, that suits me and my personality and my demeanor. Perhaps a baggy skater boy will suit you better, okay? Three fundamentals right there. Hairstyle, physique, and your fashion, okay? Focus on those three, get good at those three, and you're gonna see way more results than you would trying to, oh, I need a squint max to get the hunter eyes. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, guys. Stop focusing on these small, minute, insignificant things, and instead, just focus on what you can control, okay? I have attracted the girl of my freaking dreams, okay? I've already achieved it. I've re I'm already there, guys. I've already made it. And am I perfect? No, I have heaps of flaws. My teeth are crooked. I have a dodgy hairline. I have this negative cancel tilt, but I achieved what I set out to achieve. So I've already succeeded. I have already made it. So it can't be over if I've made it. And I've done it with a negative cancel tilt. So stop obsessing with these stupid, minute details that don't matter in the real world. At the end of the day, the more you obsess about these things, the more you cower away in your bedroom, in your dark little bedroom, on your phone, staring at, like analyzing elite male models, just wasting time where you, the other guy who's actually gonna take my advice is gonna go out there, he's gonna freaking apply the basics and he's actually gonna get the results. He's actually gonna date far more women then you're gonna date if you're gonna cower in your bedroom. You're never gonna get anywhere in your bedroom. You gotta get out there, get some skin in the game and realize, oh wait, if I just apply these basic things, I already look better than the average freaking Joe Blow at the supermarket, okay? It's, it's that easy, guys. I don't even know why I have to make videos like this, but I clickbaited you by saying how to fix a negative cancel tool, but I needed you. That's the only way to get you on this video so I can tell you the truth, okay, guys? It doesn't matter about the angle of your freaking eyes. It never did, okay? It never did. So yeah, just go watch that face shape guide, man. Go sort out your hair, then sort out your freaking physique. I've shared my push day that I was following. It's all, it's on my channel, man. I've got freaking fashion videos on my channel. It's all here for you guys, man, all free. Freaking go watch it. I've even got a community, free Discord server full of guys just like us who want to apply the female gaze and attract beautiful girls into our lives. Not so we can be players, but so we can vet them and choose the most high quality girl that's gonna complement our lives, okay? That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Not about squint maxing, all those silly things, man. Come on, grow up, man up.